I think the most exciting thing about returning to Miranda is now and has always been the way Michael Patrick uh, keeps her evolving, the way he keeps all the characters evolving. I mean, if you look, if you look at who she was in the first season, you know, she was so bitter and suspicious and cynical and defensive and uh, quick to yell, quick to anger, very grandstandy. Um, and very, very, a lot of trouble with men, very suspicious of men. And we pick her up now, and she is really a, a, a fairly happy um, wife and mother. Her career is still very important. I won't give it away, but she has some trouble with her career in, in this film. Um, but I really feel like it's, it's a mark of how, how Miranda has evolved, that she has gone from being the... She used to be more diva-ish and, and, and stand and scream. And in this film, she really is sort of the, the cheerleader uh, uh, between the, 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 the four women. And um, kind of she, she's the one sort of taking emotional care of, of the other three. As the years pass, I think we are always surprised. We think we've, we've, we've reached our top and people aren't people ready to, <laughs> to see us go sit down now. But we're very... Um, I think we're always amazed and very, very touched and excited by how people really, you know, want to see more and they want to check in with these characters and they want to see where Michael Patrick will take them, both emotionally and in, in the case of this film, literally, where, where, where they're going to go. Almost all of us flew into Casablanca and then we took um, cars to uh, Marrakesh where we were for the bulk of the filming but right after we got to Marrakesh we immediately got on a plane and we, f we flew to Erfoud which is the desert which is this amazing unspoiled all these um, dunes and just desert as far as you can see and often no roads you know we were in cars that would go off off road you know for driving us to work every morning for 40 minutes or whatever there no highway uh, just over the sand so um, it was it was amazing, and you and you, and it's so beautiful, and it's so unspoiled, and we've also seen it so many times in the they film so many movies there, like Lawrence of Arabia, that you you see it in person, and you feel like you're in a movie, you feel like you're in a set, because it's like, it's like when you if you go see the Taj Mahal, you've seen it so many times, and it's so beautiful, and it's so striking, and it's so different from everything else, but your eye almost sees it like a postcard. A camel is, I think, a, a less train, trained and less trainable animal than, say, a horse. Um, and a camel will just decide to sit down or stand up uh, randomly, or probably not randomly to the camel, but to the person on top, seemingly randomly. Uh, so it is very startling, and it is a little bit like being in a very short earthquake, and you just have to hold on. <laughs>